Hello, and thank you for pressing play on this video. This is an introduction to Scholar Summer Schools in London. My name is Ben, and I'm the director of Scholar. Scholar was established in 1969, so we've been running English language schools for over 50 years. And we've been in Regent's Park uh, for the whole of that time, running junior English language summer schools. Uh, last year, we ran a very popular, successful summer school in Regent's Park, based in Regent's University, and we're very happy to be back there again next year. We're also adding a site that we've used before, also in Regent's Park, at Gloucester Gate. And this school will be specifically designed for our primary age students. We run a 10 week summer school from the 19th of June until the 26th of August. And for the middle six weeks, we have both sites operational. That means for the first two weeks from the 19th of June for two weeks, all of our students, and the age ranges from 5 to 17, will be at Scholar Regents Park. The 5 to 9-year-olds will then split and go to Gloucester Gate, leaving the 10 to 17-year-olds at Regents University for six weeks. For the last two weeks of our summer period, all students from 5 to 17 will be in Gloucester Gate. We are accredited by the British Council and members of English UK, and in our last inspection, we were awarded a Certificate of Excellence by the EL Gazette. Our location perhaps is our strongest point because we are the only school in a royal uh, park of London. Regent's Park is a wonderful place to set uh, a junior summer school. And our scholar Regent's Park is based in Regent's University. And it's right on the inner circle next to the Queen Mary's Rose Gardens and the lakes of Regent's Park. Gloucester Gate is at the northeast part of the park on the outer circle. And it's less than a 20 minute walk between the two. For those families that are coming and have an older student that will be based in Regent's Park and a younger student in Gloucester Gate, we designed the timetable so that you can get to both sites accordingly. We're near to Camden Town in the north, uh, Fitzrovia and Marlebon in the south. Our nearest tube for Regent's Park is Baker Street and our nearest tube line for Gloucester Gate is Camden Town. This location in a park, but right in the center of London, really helps deliver our program. We use the park for our sports programs, whether that's football or bas um, volleyball or sports days, athletics. Uh, Regent's Park itself has a multi-sport court as well, and that allows us to play basketball um, as well. Gloucester Gate is right next to Gloucester Gate Playground, which is one of the best playgrounds uh, for children in the whole of London. And we do use that um, to help, uh, particularly at the beginning of the week, to form relationships and have a bit of fun after what can be um, a long Monday day. Here's a selection of pictures uh, that I've screen grabbed from our website. Uh, all this information is on our website. Um, but one thing to note is that we do have in Regents University these 80 inch touchscreen computers, which really bring a lot of media into the classroom. Art is a big part of our program. Uh, it allows students to make friends and express themselves as well as prepare for the presentations on a Friday. You can see our multi-sport court here, which has been recently refurbished. Um, and presentations on a Friday are shown here where students will work on a project each week and deliver a presentation in English to the rest of the school.
We go on lots of trips to art galleries, to museums, uh, to the famous sites of London as well. And we'll come to that later. I'd like you to draw your attention to the summer that we just had at Scholar Regents Park. Um, we had uh, a number of uh, families come, uh, over 500 individual students, uh, and we I really recommend that you read the reviews, the Google reviews on our website. We've had 46 of them. Most of them are five star. We did have a couple um, that weren't, but do read them to find out were, uh, what really families enjoyed about the course uh, and what they were willing to say about us. Um, we really work hard to ensure that everyone has a really good time with us. I'm just going to move up here for the rest of the program. So here is our um, our schedule for next summer. Uh, we start here on the 19th of June, and each week has uh, a theme which is linked to an academic subject. So the first uh, theme is called the natural world. It's based on biology. And you'll see that the excursions that we go to are, are linked to that as well as the presentations um, on a Friday. And here, this last column you can't quite see is our Saturday trip and the excursions that we go on a Saturday. On a Saturday, you can, on the 10 to 17 year old uh, age group, uh, join that on the six day program. You can also join it for the five to nine year olds if accompanied by a parent. So here are our themes again, um, going right through to the last week, which is air, land and sea, which is geography. Um, and you'll see that the 10 to 17 year olds have a trip on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And the five to nine year olds have one trip on a Wednesday uh, afternoon. These are afternoon excursions. We have lunch a little early to try and make the most of that afternoon slot. Um, and they're a really exciting part of the course. We have two new um, themes this year as we move from eight weeks to a 10 week course. And that's one based on the Sherlock Holmes Museum and trying to investigate uh, about how people solve crimes, a law theme, as well as uh, an economics theme. So we'll look at the trade links that London has developed and that bind our globe together. Here's the timetable for the two different age groups. And um, we do have a slightly later start for the five to nine year olds at 9.10. Um, we'd like, this is an arrival time, if you like, and we'd like the 10 to 17 year olds to arrive at 8.50. So that staggers um, the day a little bit when we're on one site to allow everyone to get in. Uh, but also if you are on those two different sites, it allows parents to go from one to the other with a 20 minute walk. On a Monday, students are tested. Uh, we will do an element of testing before the summer. Um, our director of studies will be in touch for a five, 10 minute uh, sort of interview to really gauge your level before you start, which allows us to put you into classes uh, a lot quicker. Lunch is always included in the full day course uh, at Regents University. It's a fabulous uh, canteen that's used by the university with a great selection. At the Gloucester Gate for the five to, to nine year olds, um, we have an on-site canteen as well, uh, and that will be included. Effectively, we do English in the morning and our excursions and activities in the afternoon. And we finish on both sides with presentations and a bit of a party. All students at that stage will also, if they're leaving that week, get a scholar certificate, which will outline the level that they are at um, quite specifically. This is our nationality split from 2022. We had 537 students across 50 different nationalities. Our two main uh, countries with about 15% were Turkish and Italian. This is an average across the whole summer, of course, and there are some weeks where that percentage was a little higher based on when people take holidays in those countries. But with over 50 different nationalities, when we have 
15 students in a class, often most of the students in there are from a different country. English, of course, is um, required within the classes and as much as possible around the school. And what really uh, warms us is when we see people from different continents making friends, uh, hopefully uh, keeping in touch with through social media afterwards, um, because that's the world that we live in, an interconnected global uh, trading uh, world. This is our price list from uh, for next year. Um, we offer a six day full day course, a five day full day course and a five half day course at 690, 590 and 390. We also work with adult schools, um, both on site at Regents University and in Camden. And for the school that's on site in uh, Regents University, um, it's 300 pounds for 15 hours, so a morning course. We offer homestay, car service and airport transfers for individual juniors uh, coming to us. They have to be at least 12 years old for that. And we will arrange a host family and all the, the all inclusive package required to send your children to us for a number of weeks um, through our host family service providers. To register, register on the website, click the register button, fill in your details, do agree to the terms and conditions, um, let us know how you heard about us, and then choose a method of payment. And that will release the form at the bottom there uh, where you can fill in the student details. My contact details are here on the right. Do get in touch through info at Scholar um, and my, uh, the WhatsApp number there comes directly through to me. So if you ever want to message or call, that's absolutely fine as well. And finally, we do have one-to-one uh, -one online lessons through the winter so uh, and through the summer as well. So if you're looking for uh, a package that goes across the whole calendar, I really recommend one or two 30-minute lessons per week with one of our teachers uh, via Zoom online. It's only £16 for a 30-minute lesson. Uh, you can have a free trial through the website. You can book a trial for when you're free and when the teachers have made themselves available to have trials. Um, and if you like that trial uh, and you can discuss a time to meet, then you can book a series of, of lessons as well through there. <clears throat> we also do do academic subjects through our online lessons portal. The URL for that is onlinelessons.co.uk. Thank you for taking the time to uh, go through this presentation. I hope that's given you a little bit of structure about how we do things in Scholar and I look forward to um, helping you through the registration process as well as meeting you in the summer in Regent's Park next year. Thank you.